Hey, Kevin here, top 100 financial advisor and best-selling author, and we are here to talk about the stock market. I want to give you some places that you should really consider investing in and some places you might not want to consider investing in. I'm going to give, give you, I actually have a, a graphic too, to give you some thoughts about it, why I'm looking at the market this way, why I'm talking about it now in June, and why it's most important. Uh, but as we get ready for that, I want to grab the book because you need to get yourself a copy if you haven't already. From Burning to Blueprint, Rebuilding Black Wall Street After a Century of Silence. I know it was blurry on the other video. There you go. Um, get to Amazon. I'll make sure that the, the link is above. But also, I'm just going to read you a really, really quick section on investing because that's why we're here, right? Uh, so we know that building up a cash reserve is important. And that alone is not going to help you build wealth, just having a bunch of cash and savings. Uh, wealth is generated when you're able to employ your money to generate an income. You know what that means? It's investing. Uh, to use a metaphor, a portion of your money should be clocking in Monday through Friday, which is what the stock market is open for. And it's generally from 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. That's what your money needs to be doing. So if my money is going to work, uh, your money should definitely be going to work as well. But we want to decide, like, where should you work? Do I want you working at McDonald's and owning that company? Do I want you to work at a bank? Like, I don't know, Bank of America or something like that and make money there. Depends on where you go and how much money that money is bringing in to you. The more that my money is going to work, the less that I have to and the, the less time that I need to be at work because my money is working for me. So what's going on? Where is money moving? And how do we kind of position ourselves? Because it's, it's halftime, right? It's June. We want to make our investments for June and hold it through December or whatever your strategy may be. But that's my strategy. I follow somewhat of a, a momentum uh, factor or say a momentum in investor where we buy for a little bit, which is six months for me. We hold. After six months, we sit back and we reevaluate. So this time last year, around this time last year, it was December, mid-December. We're talking about stuff like T-Mobile that actually panned out. I didn't think it would. I still feel iffy about T-Mobile, but hey, I'm making money. I really should be complaining. Um, that was just one of the stocks we had, we had looked into. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and look into it and tell you why we're, we're making this shift. So there's what's called the, I think it's MSCI index. It was a Morgan Stanley thing that they created a while back that tracks what stocks are moving, what industries are moving. And their index you know, puts in certain companies and takes out certain companies and industries every six months or so. That's right around now. And what they did was make a huge shift, one of the biggest shifts they've made in quite some time. 68% of the index was replaced, which means that 68% of the money said, not in this area, we're not doing this, we're putting our money there. And I didn't find out this news until, ooh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, didn't find out this news until maybe two or three days ago. But the article was published at the end of May. So this was a this is a thing that has happened. Um, but we are, we're pretty, we're pretty on it. And you'll see why just here in, in a second. So we're going to pull this up, won't be long today. And then we're going to uh, wrap this up in just a second. If I can find my whiteboard, then we'll... Uh, then we'll do those things. All right, so let's go ahead and pull up the right board and just show you what's going on and, and what I expect and what we should be paying attention to in the stocks and companies that I like. All right, so this is from a Bloomberg article. It tells you about what's going on. Feel free to look this one up. Um, but what we're seeing is um, this is this is the old allocation. So, and we, again, this is where the market was moving. This is, is where money was moving, is where people were making a ton of money. And they do this every six months. So six months ago, back in December, Infotech, that's, that was the hottest place to be. That was NVIDIA, that was Netflix, um, it's Google, and it's still Google for me. It was Microsoft. That's where money was going, right? That's not the case anymore. You can see that it's decreased by 23%. That means people are not really get, being in tech. They're not in tech the way they used to. And we've talked about this, right? We At the begin, very beginning of the year, I think by March, we're like, look, Tech is not what tech used to be. If you had it for a while, you might be okay. We've talked about Salesforce and whether or not we think that is a viable solution moving forward. They they acquired Slack and it, you know last I checked, they didn't do all all so well. And even though like I'm I'm holding on to Amazon, I'm holding on to Microsoft. But if I were new, right, and I've never invested in any of those before, right now might not be the time that I would do that, right? I want to kind of catch on the upswing and not just hold it and just wait for it to just sit there and do nothing. So that's, that's just me. Um, so I already own Microsoft. I'm not changing it, right? So I'm giving you perspective. I got in years ago. I'm still fine. I'm going to stay fine. However, if I'm looking to make money now, if I'm looking to make money between now and the end of the year, that's probably not where I would go. Where I would go, and I've been talking about this, we had a whole video on it. Again, this was just published at the end of, of May, early June, right here. 
is financials. So financials went from 1% of their index to 31%. That is the biggest increase that you can see here and the most important. It's what I've been talking about for some time now. So for me, this includes something like a JP Morgan, something like a, I was gonna say Wells Fargo, you yeah, know how I feel about them, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Uh, maybe it's a Morgan Stanley, maybe it's a Goldman Sachs, whatever it is, it could be some of those smaller regional banks too. That's where the market is moving, right? So I have not decided which one I'm going to pick. Perhaps I'll, I'll use a cheat code and say, maybe dad will get JP Morgan, maybe baby boy will get <laughs> Goldman Sachs, and maybe the girl will get Morgan Stanley. I don't know, right? But we do, the family is definitely going to make some moves in the next two weeks. I'll be looking at some of these to, to do that with. So financials is a place that you want to be. Does this benefit a Square and a PayPal? I'm not 100% sure. Y'all know that I own Square. I'm not selling Square. So I'm, I'm keeping Square in, in any case, right? Um, same, with, same with PayPal for, for Baby Boy. But that is a place that you want to look into, into the financial sector. This is a huge beneficiary of the reopening play. Um, a lot of the stocks like Microsoft, like um, Netflix, you know, it's just not as popping as what it was last year. And we're not sure when it's going to quote unquote pop again um, in the way that in the way that we're used to doing it. It doesn't mean again, it doesn't mean that Microsoft is going to be trash. I don't believe that or Amazon is going to be trash. It means that if you saw a 30, 40, 50 percent gain last year, you might not see that this year. So you might get 5%. I'm, I'm throwing numbers out there. You might see 5%. You might see 2%, right? It can, it can just be blah. So that's that's what we're, we're talking about here. Every year, every uh, every year, I've said this before too, every year has a theme where last year was stay at home. Any you know, Zoom, right? Anything that was stay at home play, it just took off, right? Amazon, again, was one of those. Now, I don't believe that Amazon's going to fall off the map. I'm, I'm buying and holding anyway, but if I'm trying to make the most money right now or between now and the end of the year, that might I, I might make more of JP Morgan. I'll put my money there. Um, so do be aware of that. So you also got industrials. Again, not, not a whole bunch of a, of a shift here, but it did increase by 5%. It does catch your eye. Uh, maybe that's something I've, I've talked about this, AMAT, that's Applied Materials. That's a company I'm looking into. Um, they're somewhat of a, I look, I had, Applied materials is one that people are looking at. That's all I can say. I'm not even sure what they do yet. I got to do a lot more research there, but that's the one that people are looking at uh, primarily. It's not the only one. Um, and then you've got this is is important too. So consumer discretionary, um, as well as healthcare. Those two have dipped. Now I wasn't so big into healthcare. You guys know I had Johnson Johnson at one point. I dropped them at the end of the in, end of last year. I made anywhere between, it was a single digit number. We made some money, but not a whole lot. Uh, the sooner discretionary stuff that people just like to buy, it really depends on what you want to what you want to categorize there. Now, I still like Target, um, so maybe I'll pick pick Target up in, in June. Perhaps I will. Uh, whatever I do pick up, I'll let y'all guys I'll let y'all know. I got a little more research I got to do before I make a decision there. And then energy, energy was zero. And remember, like I wasn't talking about energy at no point last year, right? And energy was was trash, <laughs> and this index is pretty much showing so, so that. And it's, it's, you can see here the that's the index we're talking about. Um, it was now it's not right. So companies like uh, Exxon Mobil is is one that I've been looking at. You have a lot of clean energy companies too. We'll see where that goes, um, and we'll you know we'll kind of play around and 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 see. Right, I'm not entirely sure I would do an Exxon Mobil, um, but. This is when you look at energy stocks is one of the best ones out there. Also for industrials, you can say that this could be like a John Deere because they're in that industrial, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Infrastructure play. That could be a place that you want to look for. But also knowing what we know about the housing market um, in the market for a house now um, is that we got to build way more houses. The supply is not there. People are moving to the suburbs. People are working from home and that's going to be... Um, permanent for some companies, right? Um, and and long-term for, for others. So uh, John Deere is the top of my list in that category. Um, there are several others here. Caterpillar is another one um, that you might want to look at. And I'll, I'll drop, right, JPM. Y'all can go back and watch the bank video, GSMS. These are just the ones that first come to my mind, right? Um, so these are places that I would look right now in June to the rest of the year. Like this is this is going to be it. Um, I would estimate based on what we're seeing from the market, 
these are the companies that I can do for like a longer term thing. Meaning like it's, it ain't going to be a meme stock. I ain't, I ain't doing that in today's episode. But some I can say, look, I'm, I'm going to put 5% of my portfolio here. I'm going to let it ride out. And I think I'm going to be okay. Those are the places that I would look. Um, and I, I, that's just where the market is moving right now. Every year, I've said this before, has, is, there is a thing. Last year, we'll stay at home. Now it's coming back to work. Now it's building, right? It's it's financing stuff. That's where we are right now. And then come December, it could be completely different. Also, last December, it was about the vaccine. So that's why Moderna was up, up as big as it was, because it was new. We're talking about the vaccine. We needed it real bad, right? That's why Moderna was was where it was. 2018, I'm sorry, 20, uh, I'm, I'm skipping years. 2019, to be honest with you, it was too far back. I don't remember what the theme was um, at that point in time. But again, every year does have a theme. You need to make sure you adjust with it. What worked for you last year might not work now. What worked for you six months ago, we've already seen, might not work now. Tesla is a good example. It was on fire last year, up 400%. This year, it's not all that fun, right? So um, it doesn't mean that you can't hold on to companies, okay? So there are companies, like I, I've already said, my wife is on Netflix for years. We're holding on to Netflix. I'm not going nowhere with that. Um, some, something like Kroger. We had Kroger last year. Talked a lot about it. Costco as well. Still holding on to Costco. Aren't expected to do a whole bunch, but I think it's just still a good quality company. Uh, we had Kroger. We made money on Kroger. We bounced out. I had Dollar General. I've been talking about Dollar General for an entire year now. Uh, come June 30th or so, Dollar General about to bounce out of here. I've, I have them. Made money. But it's not going to do what a lot of these banks are doing. It's not going to do what I think a John Deere could do. So it might be time for Dollar General to give them bounce. So just letting you guys know when we do that video, I'll let you guys know what, what left the portfolio, what's staying, and uh, and where we go from there as well for me, for the kids, and then everybody else. All right. So that's it for me. Hopefully that wasn't too long. Make sure that you get the book. Again, you are going to enjoy it. We've got some really great reviews, not just on the book, which is, is really awesome, uh, but also on Amazon too. So Let's keep it at the bestseller status. Go to buildingbread.com slash blueprint. I'm also teaching a few new classes. Um, so I'll leave those links above, below, and, and wherever else as well. All right. That's it for me. I'll talk to you guys later.